Oh my goodness, I need to go and buy juice. Mark, what juice are you talking about? You only have four dollars left in your account. Did you forget the bills came knocking? Stupid. Hey guys, it's your boy Mark here. Join me as I talk about these nine best side hustles ideas you can do indoors or outdoors in 2021. By the way, before we get right into it, make sure you comment, make sure you like the video to it helps the algorithm, and make sure you subscribe. I always appreciate it. I do appreciate it. All the side hustles I'm going to mention here, you can make from $200 to $500, just depending on the niche you are going to choose and depending on the kind of tags you are willing to render or to offer to your clients. So the tags you offer to your clients depends how much and how good you are with those tags too, depends how much you can make from it and depends how you can charge your clients too. The first option I'll be talking about is car detailing. Car detailing is cleaning a car from top to bottom either with special tools or product this business is something you can gradually and easily build around even in your neighborhood you don't need a much website design or a much lucrative or much money to start with all you need probably is around fifty dollars and with fifty dollars you can just get fewer products in order to do a proper card detail. One of the best ways to start this card detailing business is by telling your family about it, going to your neighborhood like restaurants, barber shop, car dealers, even the police station. Tell them about what you want to do for them. Tell them the kind of problem you can solve for them. When you go to a police station and you tell them, I want to detail you guys car. Believe me, one way or the other, if there is vacancy for it, even the police will be happy for you to be detailing their car. They will actually like to offer it to you to see that you're working on it, to see that you're doing something as a side hustle. And one of the best ways to promote your business too is through Facebook, it's Facebook group, through Instagram group, even WhatsApp group. And these things are quite easy. This business is quite doable more than you expect. And one of the best areas to get to promote your business is from the church. You can tell your church members if you're the type that goes to church. This business is one of the businesses people are ignore out there because most people, most adults even think it's made for young people or even for kids. But card detailing is actually made for anybody. Anybody can make money from card detailing. Card detailers can make from 30 to $200 depending how you are going to detail the car and depending how dirty the car is. And sometimes people can also give you tips. So card detailing is one of the great ways you can make a side hustle. The second option I'll be talking about is virtual assistant. This is one of the nice freelancer jobs out there. A virtual assistant provides professional, administrative, and creative assistant to its clients remotely from home. It can be anything you can do for your client in line. Stuff like data entry, calendar management, email management, social media, or even video editing. There are different ways you can promote your business, either joining Facebook group, Instagram group, and there are websites too, whereby you can also sign up and people will hire you. Websites like Fiverr, um, Hire Your Mom, Bespoke, a virtual assistant charge from $30 to $100 an hour, just depending the kind of service you are rendering to your clients. The third option I'll be talking about is one of my favorites in this list, which is YouTube. That is what I'm actually doing right now. It's one of the platforms where you can have fun doing what you love. And it's not a quick make money kind of platform. You really need to have patience for it. You need, you need to have that 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 watch time, get monetized, then you can start making money. YouTubers can make from 50 cents an hour to $1 million a month. Like, it's not a joke. There are a lot of YouTubers out there that makes up to $1 million a month or even more than. So YouTube is one of my favorite options in this list. I'll repeat that again. And you can have fun, just do what you love. So if you are considering one of the best things you can do as a side income, and if it's one of the best things you can also get popular with, consider YouTube as one of those side hustles you can make money from. But YouTube is a plat platform that can get you popular that you can make money from and you can even leave your main job and use YouTube as your main source of income. 
The next option I'll be talking about is tutoring service. This is actually easier than you think. It's easier to be a tutor. All you have to do is narrow down or try to niche down the particular thing you know you, you are really good at. With that, you'll be able to teach people in that particular field you are good at and make money with it. You can be a gym tutor, you can be an even an English teacher, you can be a dancing tutor, you can be a running tutor, you can be a sleeping tutor. Like, you can actually teach people anything. Tutoring is literally like giving people an additional services, just making people to better themselves. That is what tutoring is. The first thing you have to do is actually to get your customers and getting those customers you have to promote, promote, promote. You need to promote yourself through different services, services like social media, which is Facebook groups, Instagram groups, and even WhatsApp. And also there is Fiverr, there is other op options and sites there which you can post yourself as a tutor. But to me, Facebook is one of the best places where you can actually get people you can tutor. It was made from $30 an hour to $100 an hour, depending what you are really good at, depending what you are teaching people, and depending the kind of offer you are giving to people. The next option I'll be talking about is wholesale real estate. This is actually interesting because you can make money with this even without spending a dime. All you have to do is what? Move around your hood and look for those houses, all those properties that have been put up for sale. It could be flats, it could be a detached house, it could be any kind of house or any kind of property that have been put up for sale. Go to the city assessment um, sites and find a way to get in touch with the landlord. When you get in touch with the landlord, send the landlord either a message through text message or email and make them to understand you want to buy this property. Go and meet with the landlord, negotiate with the landlord, find out how much the landlord wants to sell the property. It could be, let's say, $50,000 and try your best to get a contract with the landlord showing him that you are interested about buying this house. Take the picture of the house and everything. Look for sites that you can put that house for sale also. That house costs you negotiated $50,000 with the landlord, but you are putting the land house for sale on a site where people put up houses for uh, properties for sale or houses for sale. And you are putting it up for $60,000. This is difference of $10,000 now. Whereby you get a customer, you can go with the customer to the landlord and make a sale. With this process, here you are working as a middleman. Wholesale real estate people can make from, let's say, $500 or less than that to $10,000 depending how serious you are with the business depending how you are really unwilling to move around your hood to look for those properties that are being put up for sale. The next side hustle I'll be talking about is a bit technical which is you becoming a trader. Trading is a bit technical because you need some skills in order to trade. You need to study the market. There are different things people trade on. You can trade on forex, you can trade on equity, you can trade on options, and you can trade on commodities. But forex trading is one of the most popular among all of them. Forex trading is the largest and most liquid assets market in the world. In forex trading, all you have to do is trade different currencies in the world. But you need a technical skill for this. Equity trading is kind of a long-term investment and it's kind of safe compared to forex trading. But the day trading that is more profitable is the day trading stocks. Making money from trading can really be profitable because the more you are able to analyze the market properly, the more you'll be able to make money and make more money. I have actually done trading myself but I lost a good amount of money in it. And I still have a friend who is still doing it which I invested money in and he pays me 15% of what I invested every month. So in case you know someone out there too who you can trust, who does trading, you can still just negotiate with them, talk with them and invest some amount of money with them which they will be giving some percentage every month. So trading is one of the good platform which I can recommend for people to make money from like a side hustle. Another side hustle I would like to add to the list is junk remover. Junk remover is one of the business people really ignore or one of the ideas people really ignore from making money because people think, oh, it's a dirty business. Some people think, ah, I can't do it. It's so nasty. But junk remover is one of a, the lucrative business you can really make good amount of money from. Whereby people have unwanted items in their houses they want to throw away. Items like fridges 
TV, items like good sofa, it could even be a good dining table, it could even be an old piano, sometimes it's even a car and that car you can pieces it, take it to where they pieces it, pieces the car and sell it pass by pass because these are things people are throwing away and those things are things you can get from them, you, anyone you feel that is valuable, you get it from them and go and resell it to someone who needs it. So junk removing, you can make good amount of money. There is a couple that have a YouTube channel who also does this as a business. They literally throw away junks from people's hair, junks from people's houses, and they make huge amount of money. They started small, but right now they have like five trucks they use for their business. So junk remover is one of the good ways to make money. So all you have to do is find a way to market yourself or promote yourself. You can do this through Craigslist, you can do it through Facebook, you can do it through Instagram. All these places are places you can actually get um, customers and clients from. Also, you can do it through Fiverr. There are so many apps, um, sites out there which whereby if you go to Google and research and you'll be able to get clients and get people to know that this is the kind of business you are into. Then in junk removing, people make from, let's say, from $100 to up to $5,000, depending how big and how dirty or how the size of stuff they are removing. This is a good kind of side hustle business to do. The next option I would like to talk about is tax rabbit. Tax rabbit is kind of a freelancer labor side hustle where you could do any kind of tax for your client. And most of the jobs in tax rabbit could be anything like um, handyman, you could be a handyman for your client, you could be a hand, you could be a handyman for your car, uh, you could be a handyman for your client, you could be a delivery man for your client, you could be a cooking, you can be cooking for your client, you can even be carrying your client's handbag, you can be doing their email, you can be doing any kind of thing on tax rabbit, you can be cleaning their garden, you can be cleaning their homes, you can be a pet sitter too. So. Tax rabbit is one of the great ways where people can make money through side hustles and there are apps and sites for this. One of the sites is um, taxrabbit.com. I think the app also is owned by taxrabbit. In the app, you just go to the app, sign up and fill all your details. It's more like you need to put a complete resume of yourself. And for starting, you need to try your best to make sure you don't put a specific high amount. Just start from, if other people are charging, let me say for pet sitter, if other people are charging $30, you can charge $20 because you are new in the app or in, on the site. When you are registering the site, try your best to narrow down what you know you are really good at, the kind of good outcome you can give to your client. If you are a tax rabbit, you can make money from $20 to up to $100 per hour, just depending what you are really good at and what kind of offer you are really unwilling to render to your clients. One of the good places again to look for clients could be Facebook or Instagram groups or even WhatsApp groups and there are so many groups there whereby you can get someone to be your client. One of the good places you can also get clients could be turn, like turning your church members what you can offer for them and how your hourly rates. You can also tell the barber shop in your area to tell to help you to get some customers and you can even tell the restaurants um, in your local area. There are different places and different ways you can actually get your clients and I hope this idea also helps somebody out there. Another side hustle that interests me so much is being a delivery driver. Delivery driving is actually kind of a lucrative job. Some people have this job like their main active income or some people have it as a passive income. But being a delivery driver during this period is quite lucrative because of the kind of thing the whole earth is on, what the virus have caused on this our planet earth. It has made the job to be a bit booming. And being a delivery driver, you don't really have to have a special skill. As long as you have a driver's license, access to a car, even some of the some of the places you can be offered to drive a particular either the company's car or the restaurant car. So even though you don't own a car, you can look for a place where you can go that they can offer you a car to use their own car. And one of the greatest things with this kind of job also is because you have your own time. You can choose when to work if you are using this as a passive income. You can just decide, oh, today I'm not going to work today. Tomorrow I'm going to work full time on to be a delivery driver. So it's just your own time you own. There are many things you can deliver. You can deliver food, you can deliver car, you can deliver groceries, you can even deliver clothes. You can deliver any kind of thing that a client needs it can be delivered and there are many sites and many apps 
out there that you can use in different countries depending on the country you are there are ones they call easter cards there is grub grub hub and there is medical Korea, and there is also task rabbit even in task rabbit there are people who are delivery drivers there and you have to also be able to lift things if it's just food that means you don't really have much way to lift but sometimes you can be asked to deliver stuff like sofa and heavy or dining table or heavy stuffs Delivery drivers can make from $15 to $30 just depending the app you are working with and also there are um, tips. You can make money from tips too and some of those apps either the client will tip you from the app or the client can give you the tip cash. So there are lots of money you can make from being a delivery driver. It's one of my favorites in this list. I'm going to wrap up today's video. Just Please make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video because it helps the YouTube algorithm and make sure you comment. I always appreciate it. I do appreciate it. That's your boy Mark signing off right now. Peace.